Hi, this is Ty Ford, and we're back the day after the S Mike 2 Big Bath in the Bucket of Water. As you may have seen on the previous video, when we did the dunk, we lost most of the audio from the mic. But with the manufacturer's approval, we did that test just to see what would happen. Now, they had said that um, they had uh, someone dip it in a toilet bowl. I don't know whether that was clean water or not. Bring it out, have it not work well, wrap it in a towel, stick it in a clothes dryer, and uh, uh, do an overnight, I think, and that it worked well the next day. Well, uh, have a clothes dryer. We didn't use the towel because I got a rack in the clothes dryer. So I had uh, 15 minutes, yeah, 15 minutes of moderately high heat and uh, brought it out, and it still didn't sound right. It still didn't sound right, even close to right. So I said, all right, fine, we'll just, um, we'll just take it apart and let it evaporate, let the water evaporate. There was water inside, in and around, near the, where the capsule is. So let's uh, let it evaporate and see what happens, if it works at all. And you're hearing how it works now. Now, remember, we compared it to the Sennheiser 416. Here's that Sennheiser 416, and against it now, the Deity mic sounds brighter. Before, it did not. Before, it was um, not as bright, and uh, we were remarking that the Sennheiser Presence Peak uh, really made it stand out as a brighter microphone. And so we have uh, gained some top end and, um, and, and maybe lost a little low end. It's kind of hard to tell. But it ain't right, and that's the bottom line to it. So will it get more right over time? It might. Or it might require uh, a trip back to the mothership. But um, I'm really thankful that Deity let me go through the process and find out exactly what happens when you dip it in the water. And that's what we've got for you today.